Hello, welcome back to the Ball Games 4K YouTube channel and this is a channel where we give you reviews, playthroughs, unboxings and we generally talk a lot of bollocks about tabletop gaming in general and in this video we're going to be talking about the top 10 games made out of wood and it could be plywood, it could be MDF, could be any type of wood or whatever, anything like that and in this video we're going to be going from 10 down to 1, they're not going to be in any specific order because these are wooden games that we really enjoy, they're all, they're all wonderful games so all these games are beloved by us so remember if you're new here then please consider subscribing to this channel, leave a comment in this section down below and we'll see you after this. Games 4K. So, number 10 on this list is a game called Shoalback. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's otherwise known as Dutch Shuffleboard. And in this game, what you'll be doing, you'll be launching discs on this track, hoping to get a certain amount of discs into the right slots at the top of the board in order to score points. And you'll be given 10 discs each and you'll, the game is played over three rounds. And what you'll be doing, you'll be launching these discs up this track to get them into the right slots at the top of the board. But the trick is, is you need to fill up each track fully with these discs in order to double your points. So, like I said, you play over three rounds and then the game's over and whoever's got the most points wins. Shoreback is a fantastic game. It's, uh, it morphed into the American Big Shuffle board tables, you know. But you can pick this up. You can pick up a small version that we got for all next to nothing. And once you've mastered that, you can go onto the two meter table. And it's a wonderful game. That is number 10, Shoreback. So number nine on this list is a game. It plays up to four players. You can play it with two, but it's pretty pointless. So it's essentially a four player game. No, it's got two names. It's known, known as Roll It or Roll It or Bonk, right? And Bonk is the cheaper version. It's still made out of wood, but Roll It is the, or Roll It is the more expensive version. So what you've got, you've got these, uh, you've got these sort of slides, slides at the, each corner of the board and you've got a, a ball in the table, middle of the table. And what you're trying to do is trying to roll these ball bearings into the center of the table and knock this ball in, into the your opponent's goal. Yeah, it's, it's fast, it's furious. You know, it's, it's not got a lot of depth or a lot of skill and it, the game is over very quickly, but we still really enjoy playing Bonk. We've done a video of this one if you want to see how it plays. It's pretty cheap, I think we picked it up for 40 quid. The ex more expensive version is probably better, obviously better quality and it probably plays better, but it doesn't really matter because Bonk is excellent. So number eight on this list is a sort of a wooden dexterity game and it's called Blocky Mountains. And this is one of our favorite sort of dexterity games. You've got, but basically what you've got, you've got these lots of these different blocks and you've got a book that tells you how to set up the course that you're gonna be using. So you've got a, an explorer with a backpack of provisions and then you've got a grizzly bear as well. And you've got ropes and hooks that you need to drag or lift or drop. You've got to negotiate these, these courses successfully in order to win the game and it is it plays out of seven players astonishingly but it's one of our favorite dexterity games it sort of flew under the radar when it was released a few years ago and we did have to actually contact the designer of this game in order to get hold of it but uh, yeah blocky mountains i think it's been reprinted and i think it is actually still available from amazon in germany or wherever just have a look for it blocky mountains we highly recommend this one and uh yeah that's our number eight So number seven on this list is a world famous game. It's uh, It plays up to four players, but essentially it's a two player game. And it's sometimes it's known as um, sort of a finger pool, I think it's called. And it's called Carom. And what you'll be doing on this one, you'll be using a puck to knock your colored discs into one of the four corner goals on the table. But you have to always shoot from behind the line on your side of the board. So this uh, game, there's a world championships of Carom. It's, it's very, it's, it's played, a lot in India, I think the, the Indians have got the, the best players of Karam. It's, it's very, very popular in the uh, Indian subcontinent. And uh, yeah, we really like playing Karam. Our kids like playing it. We, we came to this from another another game that's uh, sort of similar, but not similar. And I think a, a variation of this one that's played in Eastern Europe, I do believe it, is, it uses cues to, to knock the puck instead. Yeah, that's Karam. We've got a really nice board in the garage. It's uh, 
it's really good and uh, yeah that's uh, our number seven Karam so number six on this list is a game called shuffle puck and we're not talking about the big american bar type thing we're talking about the air hockey type version without the air so what you've got on this one you've got a big board with uh, goals on either end and you've got a paddle and you've got a puck and you need to sprinkle this sort of potato starch sort of carom powder on the board to make it nice and smooth so the puck flies around nice and basically what you're trying to do you're just trying to knock the puck into your opponent's goal and it's just like air hockey but you don't need uh, an electricity supply you take this anywhere We've done a play through this on Tabletop Day. It's one of our favourite games made out of wood. It's fast, it's furious, it's frenetic. And if you can pick up a table cheap, I think we paid 12 quid for our shuffle puck table. One of the best bargains we've ever seen as far as Tabletop game is concerned. It's a wonderful, wonderful game. It's two players only, but it's over so quickly and it's very skillful. Shuffle puck's wonderful. So number five on this list is a game that's originated in France, I do believe. It's, it's In France it's known as Le Pass Trap, but in English-speaking countries it's known as Pucket, I think that's what it's called. But essentially what you've got, you've got this uh, bar, a uh, board with a bar in the centre that crosses the centre of the table with a notch cut out of it so you can see through it, right? And then you, at each end of the board you've got an elastic band and you'll be pinging these discs through this this notch to try and get all of your pieces over to your opponent's side before your opponent does the same thing. And the thing about this one is it looks really simple, but where it's actually a bit of an endurance test because your arms start to get tired real quick and where it's so fast and you're trying to ping these things, you, you, you do get tired on numerous occasions when we played this, we start breaking out into a bit of a sweat, you know? So um, yeah, it's another one of them games. It's very, very simple and it's over very quickly. But the fact that it increases your heart rate to such an extent, it's, uh, it's a wonderful game. And that is the Pass Trap slash Pucket. So number four on this list is a, it's a dice game, but it's a wooden game and it's tumbling dice. And what you'll be doing, you'll be setting up this, so these sort of uh, layered plinths are made out of wood and you'll be putting a dice onto the top layer of plinth and you'll be flicking the dice down these steps. And wherever the dice lands, you times the number of pips on the die by the number on the plinth. And obviously the further down you go, the harder it is to score and you, the more points you get. And it's, this one has the perfect blend of luck and skill. And uh, it plays, but you can buy extra dice for this, and it plays to an infinite number of people. And where you're just basically flicking a die, the game's length isn't really increased that much. And obviously the game ends when you get to 100 points and there's very, loads of different variations playing this. It's like, it's almost like a sort of a, a tool where you can choose your own rules for this one. But it's, it, I don't know anybody who's played this, who hasn't enjoyed themselves. It's a bit of a sort of a pub type sort of party game, but it's also, it's quite skillful as well. And that is Tumbling Dice. So number three on this list is a Scandinavian game with a blue board. It's Clask or Clask. And uh, what you'll be doing with this one, you've got a, like a sort of a table hockey type board with these sort of magnetic handles that you'll be uh, putting one bit under the table, one bit on top of the table, and then you'll be putting the a ball on the centre of the table and you'll be trying to knock the ball into your opponent's goal, but trying to not to pull your rod into your own goal. And there's these three little sort of uh, nugget things on the board, magnetic things. And if you get two of them stuck to your, your rod, then you will lose a point. And it's a, I think it's the first to six points. And uh, this one is absolutely fantastic. This is, we're, I'm convinced that this game is going to go down as an all-time classic game. We love Clask. It's only two players, but there's a four-player version coming out soon. It, it might be out now, but we're definitely going to pick that up. You, there's a world championship for this, and I can see why, because... It, the more you play it, the better you get at it, knowing the angles and the speed and, and everything like that. And uh, if there's one game on this list that you need to play, it's this one. This It's Clask. That's our number three. So number two on this list is one of our favourite games of all time. It's Pitch Car. And this game is absolutely outstanding. So what you've got, you've got these little discs, uh, meant to be your cars, right? And you, you construct these tracks out of these MDF pieces of wood and you'll be flicking your disc around a track 
There's a few rules about, you know, if the car falls over or goes off a track and whatever, but they're, they're really easy to know. But you'll be flicking your disc around the track and you'll, you'll, whoever completes the number of laps that you is predetermined, then they win the game. And it's that simple, but the skill involved in this is, is amazing. You know, the, the more you play it, the, the better you get at it. And the wealth of available track pieces that have come out now, I think they've got a loop the loop that sort of was on Kickstarter about a year ago. And you can, if you wanted to, you could create, recreate the entire Formula One season tracks if you wanted to. But yeah, so far as uh, longevity, skill, general fun is concerned, pitch car can't be beat. So number one on this list is a game that is over 200 years old and it's played all over the world. It started off in Canada and it, from there it's grown. Nobody really knows the true origins of this one, but it's called Crokinole and it's a round board with a hole in the middle and you'll be flicking discs, trying to get them into the hole. And there's different concentric rings on the board that give you less points the further out you go and you'll be trying to flick, flick your disc into the center or get it as close to the center as possible but once you've got a disc on the board you have to hit one of your own discs before before it lands and if you don't you have to take it off the board and when everyone's run out of discs then you you top up the where you are you get like you get 20 points for getting one in the center 15 10 and 5 and then you add up all your points whoever's got the most wins crokinole is a undeniably a classic game that's played all over the world there's world championships if i had to choose a game that was made out of wood that is the pure definition of skill it's crokinole because this, this is unrivaled i mean it's a dexterity game right but the, the the you need to know your angles you need to, the thing i don't like about crokinole is that oh, i'm absolute crap at it and it doesn't matter how much i play it i'm there i haven't got that whole hands or eye coordination but having said that i do feel that i have improved over the years since i've owned this game but it's, I don't play it enough. You need to invest a lot of time into Crokinole, but it's still a game that you can pick up and play with children and, and anybody can play it. So um, so that's the reason this is top of the list. It's the most well-regarded game on this list and it's probably the best game made out of wood that you can get today. So that's Crokinole. That's our top 10 games made out of wood. Remember, if you're new here, then please consider subscribing to our channel. Leave a comment in that section down below and we'll see you next time.